What if you could take any microcontroller, strip away the libraries, and make it dance to your tune? Blinking LEDs, reading sensors, spinning motors, chatting with other devices, all coded from scratch. Hey everyone, I'm Rebwar, and welcome to my brand new series on embedded systems programming from scratch. You know what? I like this word, from scratch. If you have ever wanted to control electronics, build robots, or create IoT devices, you are in the right place. In this series, we're going to dive deep into programming MCUs like the ATmega2560 and the ATSAM3X8E, and we'll do it completely from scratch, directly accessing registers in both CN assembly. You might wonder why learn embedded systems? Well, embedded programming is the bridge between software and hardware. It lets you bring ideas to life, from blinking an LED to controlling a robot or designing a sensor network. Learning this opens doors to robotics, IoT, industrial automation, and even advanced microcontroller projects in your own lab or garage. For me personally, I'm starting this series now because in a few months, I'll begin working on robotics project that brings together embedded systems and AI. Together, I want a rock solid foundation. And that means understanding how microcontrollers work at the lowest level. This series is designed to fully equip us for that, covering everything you need to know about embedded systems from the ground up. In this series, we'll take a project-based approach. You won't just watch code being written. You'll understand why every line is there, how it interacts with the hardware, and how to debug and optimize it. We'll cover everything. GPIO, timers, interrupts, UART, SPI, I2C, CAN, ADC, DAC, PWM, memory management, RTOS basics, and even security. Plus, we'll build some real-world projects. We'll be coding in both C and assembly. C is fast, powerful, and readable. Assembly gives you a peek under the hood, showing exactly how your MCU executes instructions. By learning both, you'll gain a deep understanding of how microcontrollers work, which makes you a true embedded engineer. You'll do just more than theory. This series is built around hands-on projects. Some projects will be quick, like blinking LEDs or reading a button input. Others, like building motor controllers, working with sensors, or creating IoT devices may take a few episodes to complete. That way, we can go step by step and make sure you fully understand each part before moving on. Every project is designed to reinforce the concepts and give you practical, real-world skills that you can apply immediately. And here's the best part. After each project, you'll be able to download all the source files directly from my GitHub, so you can follow along and experiment on your own. And if you ever have questions, just drop a comment under the video. I'm always there to help, and I'll answer you as quickly as possible. Whether you are a beginner wanting to understand how embedded systems work, a hobbyist looking to build cool projects, or an inspiring professional engineer, this series is for you. No prior experience is required, though basic understanding of programming will help. We'll start from very basics and gradually move to advanced topics so everyone can follow along. By the end of this series, you'll be able to write firmware directly at the register level, control hardware peripherals, design and optimize embedded projects, and even tackle real-world IoT applications. You'll also learn debugging, testing, and optimization techniques used by professional engineers. Basically, you'll have the skills to build almost any embedded project from scratch. And by the way, in the description of this video, You'll also find a complete step-by-step -step guide for installing all the tools we'll need to program both 
AVR and ARM microcontrollers, including ARM GCC, AVR GCC, AVR DUDE, and BOSAC, with the instructions for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. That way, you can set up your environment once and be fully ready to follow along with every project in this series. In the next video, we'll get hands-on with the Arduino Mega 2560 and write our very first bare metal program, a simple LED blink on pin 13. This is the classic hello world of embedded systems and is the perfect way to see how direct resistor access really works. No libraries, no shortcuts, just you, the code, and the hardware. So if you are ready to start your journey into embedded systems, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and let's bring your electronics to life. I'll see you in the next video.